Hello friends. Um, I'm back again today and I wanted to share a little bit about how to create templates. Um, and Notion provides a way for you to, to either create a template page or a template section or a template, um, basically anything that you can create in Notion, you can create a template for it so that at a click of a button, you can um, create that same page or that same section again and again and again. So anything that you need, any page or any section that you find yourself needing or creating repetitively, this would be a great thing to, to use as a template. And basically, for example, um, and I'll just show you, I what I've done is I've created a page for all of my templates and I have it just at the bottom here. Um, uh, there aren't any pages per se, but these are just templates that I've collected here. Um, if I was to p build these further and have so many for, you know, my Catholic Charities job or Artisan Soaps or something like that, I could probably have pages of templates within that, but I really don't have that many yet. Um, but basically, so what happens if I click on this promotion checklist and I just click it, um, what happens is it, it creates another page. Now I have a page in here because this is, I've created this particular template as a page. So when I click that button, it automatically created this page. And as you can see, it, it, um, in this particular case, I've created a, a checklist of, um, you know, different things that I need to do if I'm promoting an, an event or a particular, um, uh, yeah, basically an event that we're doing at uh, Catholic Charities or something like that. Um, and then I can just drag this into wherever I need it to be. Um, so that's how templates work. I'm going to go ahead and delete this for right now and um, go back to my templates page here. So if I wanted to create a new one, all I do is click this plus button and go all the way down to the bottom and here's your template button. So just click that template button and you're set here to create your new template. And let's say we wanted to do a template for an agenda. Let's say you have uh, frequent meetings and you need to create an agenda that you can just uh, recreate at the click of a button. So um, basically, uh, this is where you're gonna set this up and you're gonna start by naming it. So we'll just call this agenda. And then um, at, at this point, you know, this is set up as a page, so we could name, we could have this as a page. But I also want to show you that you can turn this into, you know, a to-do list or a bulleted list or or any of these things here, so it doesn't have to stay as just a page. Um, so it does, you you can play with that. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and just leave it as it is, though. Um, and if I click on this, as I click on this, don't be disturbed, but when I click on this, it's going to go to the page, and then you're just going to create that page as you would like it to be. And then and then it will go into the template. So um, we'll just call this an agenda. And I'm not going to worry about any of these templates here right now. I'm just going to create my own. And generally, if you have an agenda, um, uh, attendees, oops, spell it right, attendees, <laughs> attendees, um, uh, in, you know, so you could, um, maybe we'll just make that a header, turn that into a, let's, let's make that a subheader, um, and maybe before that we want the date, so we'll put a date in here, um, let me see here, let's just, and we'll move that up, up above attendees. Uh, let's make that a, a subheader as well. Um, attendees. Um, 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 let's say <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to make this up. Oh, um, um, old business. Well, let's let's see here. Minutes. Um, um, financial report. Old business. You know, some of these things are things you might, you know, that you might address at every single meeting. New business, um, um, say other committee reports, 
Um, anyway, so you could go through and, and, and create the agenda however it is you want. And let's say you know who the attendees are, so you could maybe make a maybe make a checklist and uh, we'll just, let's throw that in there. We'll do a, um, we'll make this a to-do list. And so John Doe, Susan Sunshine, <laughs> um, Robin, uh, uh, Rainwater, I'm making these out totally, but you get the idea. Um, uh, Chairman, uh, Ah, shucks, Snoopy. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea. So you could maybe make a permanent checklist of the people who are supposed to be attending that meeting, and then that way all you have to do is go through and check them off when they get there. Um, anyway, so hey, let's say you've just created this, and let's say it's done now and you like how it is. You could put some pictures and stuff like that in there if you wanted to. And when you're done, just go back up to this bread, bread clump, bread crumb. Um, and you've got your agenda there, but let's say you want to make some changes to it or something like that. Um, there it is. There's your agenda. Um, you could just click here. You could make some more changes to that if you wanted to. Or if you want to go in there and change it specifically, just click into it. Um, but I want to make sure that you know if, if you click on it just right here, it's going to make that new page, okay, just as I showed you. Um, so if you want to change it, you really have to go over here, not not on the page, this is the page, this is the template. So go over here to this little uh, uh, um, gear icon, um, and that's where you're going to be able to, it's here that you can actually change that template. Okay, let me delete this out of here. This is the page, it's got that page icon. So, and that was what we, we created when we clicked on that. Um, but if you want to change it, let me do that again. I'll just show you. I'm going to close it. Um, basically, come over here to the gear icon. Um, there's more actions there, of course. Um, configure it does the same thing. But that's where you, you have to go over here on the side, hover over there until those things pop up, and then come down to Agenda. This is your template page. So anything you, cr you change or maneuver right here, that's going to be permanent now on the agenda. So let's say somebody else came on board. We'll just say President Trump. Um, we'll throw him in there. Okay, um, that could that could make your meetings interesting. <laughs> so anyway, now that when I close back that out of there and I create that agenda again, you're going to see President Trump shows up. And here's your page. Throw it into wherever section you want it, and and you're good to go or delete it if you need to delete it. Um, so that's that's how to do a page. Now I'm going to show you how to do a section because you can do the same thing with a section and it doesn't have to be a page. So again, add. You're going to go all the way down here to the template button. Okay, there's your setup. Um, let's make this one um, a daily checklist. So we're going to go right here and name it. We're naming the button, the template button. Uh, We'll call this daily checklist. And here we're going to go over here and we'll change this turn into to do list. And so let's say uh, read paper, um, um, log weight, log food, exercise journal, whatever else you want to make sure that you do each day. Okay, so there's your little template. It's just a section. This is not a page. It's just a section. But once you finish it, close that out. Now when you click on this daily checklist, boom, there it is. Um, uh, and then you could highlight all of those and drag them to wherever you need them to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete those. And I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to delete that. Um, so that you know, that's another way to create just a, a something that's a lot smaller. And let me try that again, just to see if there was something else we could do there. Um, oh, I went to a page. Back up. Let's back up. So I accidentally created a page. I didn't want the page. So I'm going to click the gear icon, and I'm going to change this. Come over here to the end. Turn into and this time I could, um, you know, make a toggle list, let's say. 
um, and and let's say it's just one toggle so you could do it this way um daily to do list and we could even call it that still again let's call it daily to do list um, and then do the same thing here journal exercise read um, and actually you could let's even change those into we'll turn those into um, to do list okay so this makes it easier to drag this around so you don't have several separate things that's where I was kind of going with this um, log wait log mm. log food etc okay so there's your that's that's the template okay so and you can add to it or whatever you can you want to do close that as soon as I click on that there's my to-do list and I just drag it wherever I need it to be okay does that make sense I hope that's helpful a little bit and again some of you may know this already but if you're just jumping into notion and trying to see how it works um, that's 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 the gist